John Fugelsang is here with his Jesus hair. My personal comedy Jesus getting ready to hit the road to preach to the disciples. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Stephanie. I want to remind people that we will allow unvaccinated folks to watch via pay-per-view. But uh, I'm not really worried about unvaccinated people buying tickets to the live show. Let the record make that clear. So, yeah, we're doing it. I'm really thrilled. It's great. Very exciting. Okay. Um, By the way, I okay. Rand Paul, I know you have a particular affection for. Um, Oh, I love Rand Paul. Yes. Okay. So I don't know if you're getting the same right-wing callers that Randy Rhodes and I are. This is the talking point because Ron DeSantis said it, that COVID is it. Oh, yeah. They got it. Undocumented immigrants are entirely to blame for COVID. Yes. Right. Yes. Greg Abbott's doing it. You know, I kept watching all these these people dying, and I thought, how are the right wing going to blame this on brown folk? How are they going to find a way to blame? Yeah. How are the rich people going to get their politicians to get the working people to blame this on poor brown people? And they found a way. Uh, Ron DeSantis did it first. Greg Abbott's doing it. It's kind of brilliant. Um, it really, they, it's just the unvaccinated people uh, aren't the fault for them getting sick. The undocumented people are the reason the hospitals are filled with unvaccinated people. It's, it's kind of brilliant. I asked yesterday, do people really believe this? And they're like, I guess this is, you know, the talking point that's gone out to the right wing troll boys that call the show. I, I mean, it's so insane that they actually are thinking over 600,000. It's really it's all undocumented immigrants. All undocumented immigrants. Yeah. Well, they crossed the Mexico, Florida border, which the deep state doesn't want you to know about. Right. And they come in and they they oh. they get people who refuse to have their shots and they get those people sick. So it's not the fault of people who refuse to have their shots. And Ron DeSantis promises that he will let school kids wear masks over your dead body and your dead body and your dead body and your dead body. Yes, He's like, you know, these woke liberals want to tell you that your children can't sleep in bed, that your children can't smoke in bed. Right. Now, I, Ron DeSantis... (laughs) I don't let my children smoke in bed. I don't think your children should smoke in bed, but I'm not going to let the state tell you that your kids can't smoke in bed. If your kids want to smoke in bed, these woke liberals need to leave your kids alone and let them light up. (laughs) Yes, you said Ron DeSantis reminds you that undocumented people, not unvaccinated people, are why his state has record COVID hospitalizations of unvaccinated people. Um, Yeah, Yeah. I... I guess it does not need to make any sense anymore. Mm-hmm. What, as long as you can get your racism in there. I, I mean, here, here is Rand Paul. Uh, same they're thing. taking kids from down at the border who may have it, and they're mm-hmm. plucking them up and putting them all over the United States as if they're well, wishing to seed the country with a new variant. What? It's an awful thing to do. Okay, what? John, it's the opposite. They are treating them. They're not sending kids back unaccompanied. They're treating them. They're not sending them around the country. And they're it's testing an awful people. thing to do, but it's a great thing to lie about for the Fox viewers that aren't going to fact check. And that's all it's about. These guys know they can lie all they want. They're not going to get fact check on Newsmax. They really believe they don't need votes to win elections anymore. So they're yeah. just going to lie like this. Yeah. Um, John, you're going to have to talk to the mooks because they don't seem to know how to take a dog out. I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> talk amongst Are you serious? Really? Uh, okay. okay. Wow. Hey, John. Wow. Hey, John. Okay. How are you? Hi guys. We just got blamed for her dog. <laughs> I'll say that that's fantastic. Wow. You, must, you must feel like an immigrant child outside a COVID ward filled yes. with anti-vaxxer Trump supporters. Actually, that's how the dog feels. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. Okay. Well, I hope I get a slice of the million Stephanie has paid for every episode by doing this. But uh, <laughs> can I tell you guys in the meantime that sure. I got blocked by Diamond and Silk this week? That, did that you, was good. What did you do for that? Uh, I, you know, oh, tell the truth about Donald Trump and his racism. Uh, I got blocked by them. But, you know, this is a week where uh, I got to tell you, I'm old enough to remember a year ago when we were all praising America's governors Mm -hmm. for keeping us safe. Yeah. And now (laughs) now all the villains are America's governors, which brings us to the state of New York. I hope you guys are enjoying Mm. the Andrew Cuomo show. Here's the deal. Uh, A year ago, millions of us came out as Cuomosexuals, <laughs> now we are all seeking reparative therapy. So we're all trying to pray the Cuomosexuality away in the state of New York and around the globe right now. Hi, John. I'm back. That was funny. Okay. They don't understand when a dog whines and has to 
No one knows to take them. So, no, well, I thought you were so he doesn't pee walk, on the stairs right? on the way up. No one knows how. That... I understand. Okay. I'm in New York. Your concept of yards is strange to me, but I, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay. He's just a baby. He's only three months old. Um, I, so... My kittens are three months old. I know how it is. Well, speaking of, see, I, someone oh. named Richard, the aptly named Richard on Twitter said, uh, John Fugel saying, you are a pussy son. And you said, yeah. I like when guys who lack the manhood to show their faces go for this particular taunt. Yeah, it's always the, right, the Twitter with no picture. They're all cowards. Yeah. They're all cowards. Seriously. All of these guys. Aren't you tired of these unmanly cowards that are just going on social media, having 45 accounts, and they seem to think that hating liberals will make the pain go away? Yeah. They seem to think that, I mean, you know the kind of guys I mean, the kind of guys who get aroused watching George Floyd footage, the kind of guys mm. who just will come at you all day attacking you. You can cut and paste what they say into Twitter and see how they posted it 400 other times, the exact same wording. It, it's like it's like it takes a special kind of unmanly coward to go on the Internet, hide your name and face just to attack people. Mm. If you have a private account, that's one thing. But when you're doing it just to try to hurt people, it's like we are our leading export, our right wing cowards to yeah. the rest of the world. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, so speaking of Rand Paul, here's where we your libertarian yes, paradise uh, runs into my right not to be infected by selfish um, holes. Here we go. For those who are saying, I won't go to a restaurant unless we force everybody to be vaccinated. If you're vaccinated, you are overwhelmingly safe from hospitalization and death. Mind your own business. I mean, seriously, they can in one breath air. They don't regulate business in any way. No kind of regulation. And they're and now they're trying to tell businesses you cannot require vaccination. You cannot oh, yeah. require that your employees and your customers are safe. Why, it's almost like they never meant it about being pro-business, just like they never meant it about being pro-states' rights, right? I mean, Ron DeSantis is trying to shut down school district funding if they're asking children to wear masks. They don't mean anything they say. They're not big government. They're not pro-family values. They're not pro-growth. They say this stuff to sound respectable. All they care about is rewarding their donors and getting votes. And they will say and do anything because they have no ideology left. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah. that's that's what we're up against now in this country. And Ron, Ron, Rand Paul is so stupid, his neighbor punched himself. <laughs> John Louise. Um, okay, so and this is the, apparently they want no ma vaccines, no masks, no nothing. I think yeah. that if you look objectively at mask mandates, whether it's in states, cities, counties, or countries, there's no correlation between a mask mandate and reduction in incidence of the disease. In fact, it's the opposite. What? The more mandates we got, the more of the disease we got. Now, I don't think the mask caused the disease, but I don't think the mask helped any. Oh my God, that he is just think completely the mask the it, incorrect. <laughs> According mm -hmm. to every medical expert in the world. I mean, I, John, someone tweeted, this was the best tweet this morning about, you know, that I feel like we're at war and Republicans are on the on the side of the enemy. Like we're fighting yeah. this war against this thing. And it, that is just completely incorrect medical information. But this is Donald Trump's greatest achievement in his entire life. I, I will give him credit. Donald Trump managed to make ignoring the science and medical advice of a plague integral to conservative identity. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Like they are so determined to own the libs that they will put a ventilator down their throat yep. rather than wear a mask because masks are uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. And they're still pushing it. Yeah. And, and like this, it's every state. I mean, it's horrifying right now. Do you know right now in, in Arkansas, they have only 25 ICU beds left as of last night. Mississippi has only six ICU beds left. And these same states, we're going to see the hospitalizations rise in the next four weeks, according to the CDC. The same people who have said that taking a vaccine makes you a lab rat have signed up to be the Delta variants lab rats. Yeah. I mean, we were the story this morning. You think you can't make it up. They're taking horse paste. Because horse paste. They, yes. Horse paste. Because the latest quacks think this is some kind of cure for COVID. Horse paste. Because not, the people that say they don't know what's in the vaccine, they're not going to put that in their bodies. I mean, you just cannot write this stuff, right? A year ago, they were saying take a malaria treatment yeah. to prevent the virus. And people were doing it because a reality TV show racist clown said so. Now they're not going to put this damn vaccine in their body. Oh, but it should be called the Trump vaccine. Trump deserves right. all the credit for that vaccine. I'm not taking that vaccine. And you rushed that vaccine 
But I like when Trump called it warp speed. But the liberals rushed it. Yeah. Right. You, and Rand know, Paul saying, oh, it doesn't. What do you care if you're vaccinated? Well, what what do you think we're going through right now? We're going through the whole resurgence and Delta variant because not enough people are vaccinated because it's mutating. And it's like we don't know to what to, obviously there's breakthrough infections, but we don't even know what the next mutation is that our vaccines might not work at all against. So it's just the whole it's like, does he really deliberately misunderstand the whole point of a society that yes it does matter that you know no we have to we have to anticipate republican party propaganda mutations just as much as we have to anticipate covid mutations and both will get us killed yeah um someone uh oh andrew tweeted i would like a democrat to justify the vaccine passport versus voter id laws and you said hello andrew i'm not a democrat but let me explain one's designed to help more americans live the other is designed to help fewer people vote thank you Thank you, and that's John Andrew Google Wilkow. That, that's Andrew. Yes, that's Andrew Wilkow, who hosts on the Patriot Channel on Sirius mm-hmm. XM. He, he's he's you know uh, our secret Santa at the holiday party. <laughs> and, and again, it's like you know, voter ID laws are designed to help Americans vote less. Uh, vaccines are designed to help Americans die less. It's really really simple. But again, they can't see it. There, when your entire gospel is selfishness, mm-hmm. when the whole ethos of your party is me me me. Screw the rest of you, but me, me, me. And you believe that's virtuous. The whole party is going to wind up being a bunch of Lokis in a basement killing each other. Right. <laughs> and, and the rest of us can't we can't laugh and say, oh, let them kill each other because this is the secondhand smoke virus. Yeah. A lot of people can get hurt yeah. on their roads to ruining their own lives. We have to fight for these people because, you know, we're liberals. We're stuck being the good guys. I don't want their kids to die. I don't want them to have to have a, a, a GoFundMe to pay their health insurance. I don't want them to be buried under decades of student loan debt. Like, like I, I have my wife's racist cousin who I had this whole fight with. And I said to him, I have never lied to you. Trump has lied to you thousands of times. Tucker has lied to you so many times. And you know they've lied. But you got to own the libs because that's all you stand for. Yep. And I'm like, I'm literally fighting for the people who hate me. All liberals are doing it. Yep. We don't want them to get sick and die. No one deserves to die this way. And they're going to stay blindly obedient to rich guys who've had their shots but won't admit it and who can't stop lying to them. I'm just, as you're saying this whole thing that is so true, I just want to see which one, that, that Jamie is doing, a, this is what human nature is, how selfish it is. Oh, so Jamie has inhabited uh, Stevie's puppy prison because, right, you oh. just want what you can't have. And so yeah. Jamie has, has gone into prison, right? Because the door is open. <laughs> but I'm just saying, because because that was Jamie's Casper dog master, or, or uh, Stevie's Casper dog masters, see? Yeah. Human nature, dog nature, selfish. There you go. Oh, there she is. She has imprisoned herself. We're trying to stop kittens from eating dog food in this house, so I'm with you, my dear. <laughs> um, all right, since you and Hal Sparks have both grown, grown Jesus hair, I just have one question. Will either of you be doing uh, something from Godspell or perhaps Jesus Christ Superstar <laughs> at the Madison Sexy Liberal? I want to make something very clear. Yes. The only thing I have in common with Jesus yeah. is that we're both circumcised <laughs> and we would both never wear a man bun. And that's it, all right? And that's enough. That's enough. So you don't have to worry. Uh, but yes, I might be doing a Godspell medley. It's possible. <laughs> I try to bring it back. Yay. All right. Love you, John Fugles. And go to sexyliberal.com. Yes. Get your tickets now. They always sell out quickly for the live show in Madison. Pay-per-view tickets went on sale today as well. Yep. If you cannot make it to Madison. And do not miss Tell Me Everything with John Fugles saying right here on Sirius XM Progress. Love you, John. Thank you, guys. And I just want to say that Mike Lindell is so childish. Matt Gates is Venmoing him. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>